Our advanced filter is going to allow us to filter our data with multiple criteria. Let me show you what I mean. If I go ahead and go to my regular filters, let's say that I want to see all of my cashiers for store 60159. All right, now let's say at the same time I want to see my sales associates for store 60614. Great, until I start to look and I see that it's showing me both the cashiers for 60614 and the cashiers for 60159. It's also showing me the sales associates for 60159 and 60614. But that is not what I said. What I wanted was to see the cashiers for 60159 and the sales associates for 60614. To do that, we need to go ahead and create an additional criteria range and use our advanced filter. Let's go ahead and let's do that. We need to start by going to the data tab on our ribbon and as you can already see our filters are already applied and they don't have to be on uh, they just are in fact if you want I'll turn them off and we're gonna go over here and we're going to create our criteria range we have to go and take the column header of the criteria that we're going to filter by now when you do this you have to make sure that you have any unusual spellings uh, or punctuation anything like that even if you say there is a spelling mistake you need to copy that over here because it, whatever it says here that's what Excel is going to look for and we're going to create our criteria range out here now I'm simply starting here because it's easier to see and to work with it could be anywhere it could be on another page it could be at the bottom of this worksheet on another worksheet it doesn't matter where it is I'm just putting it here because it's easy to see and I think the best way to make sure because <laughs> spelling mistakes are very common that everything is just what you want I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste exactly what I want and you need to leave a blank column or a blank row if it's at the bottom between your original table here okay we're gonna filter by the department and the store we said we wanted to see the cashiers for what was our store number it was 60159 and I want to see the sales associate for store 60614 at the same time alright now we'll make sure we're clicked somewhere here in our table doesn't matter where and we're gonna go to the advanced filter button when I click that it gives me this little window and asks me first do I want to filter the list in place or copy it to another location well I'm gonna leave it right here I don't need to put it on another page I'm gonna leave it here so it's easy for us to see and we start with the list range the list range and you can see it is selected with our dancing ants that's the table or the list that we want to filter and it's fine double check make sure it's okay criteria range that's this here we're gonna go ahead and click and drag so we get our dancing ants around that then all we gotta do is hit OK stand back and watch the magic and now we see that we have in fact I see I had the cashiers for 60159 and the sales associates for 60614 how about that now let's go ahead and let's clear our advanced filter and let's do it again let's add one more because I just did a real simple one I had four different criteria here two for our department two for the store let's say I want to go ahead and add cashiers and in fact again I'm gonna copy and paste for store 60614 so now I'm gonna see the sales associates and the cashiers 
for 60614, but it's still only the cashiers for 60615 or 60159. Let's go to our advanced. Our list range is still the same, right? Okay. Our criteria range. Well, our criteria range has changed, isn't it? We added one more thing. So what we need to do is change that and choose OK. And see now, and let's do it by store this time. We see we have the cashiers for 60159 and 60614 and the sales associates for 60614. And that's our advanced filter. Thanks. I'll see you next time.